Hello! In the comments to the VHS bag review video, a user called Bogo++, if, I not, if I'm not mistaken, raised the question of my uh, video games bag. Well, I would review my video games bag. I actually had a bag where I stored all my discs with video games, but, and this is a big but, my father landed it threw it out on the street. It landed on the street for somebody to pick it up. Yeah, th th that's what he said. It was taken too many places, so he just went and left it on the street. Thanks a, thanks a lot, Dad! But actually, that's not something really bad. I mean, my dad made much more good things. So, draw throwing out all of my games, it's not such a bad thing. Yeah, but something is left from it, and not just something, quite a lot of things were saved. Or maybe, maybe he never drew out the games, and they're all here, and I'm angry with my father for nothing. Well, let's get to the villain. First thing, first thing you'll have to know, it's that Nothing was licensed in the post-Soviet Union. You think we were playing one of those your fancy Nintendo Entertainment Systems? No, we were playing those dandy, yeah, like a hack of mess. You know, there's a guy, Kinoman, I'll put a link in the comments if you're interested in this the NES party that everybody played in the post-Soviet area, then you should watch his channel. His video, he's like uh, a Russian AVGN. Except I never had a dandy. I never had a game console anyway. All right. Uh, so the games. As I said, uh, nothing was licensed, but nobody knew it was not licensed. So and this is what. There was a very popular, popular company, Neo Games. Yes, and it was making it games pretty cool. Like, uh, look at this. Can you tell that this is not a license? Like, it got the logo. Like here, Neo Games. It says to uh, two in one, Russian and English version. Wow, two in one. You 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 imagine this. You your kid going to the store. Two in one! Woo! Yeah, it's actually... It's a nice dissing of a case. Like, here in the back there's... Uh, screenshots, the... text, the... System requirement, yes, yes, those things. And, and, and inside... Oh, mm, oh. Yeah, not this, yeah. Is inside like an artwork, yeah. You, you you can tell that this is not licensed. So let's see what th this is. The Fantastic Four, as you can see, yes, pretty nice game. I must say, can be played with together. That that is important. That is an important part, you know. And what I liked it uh, that this game it had finishing moves. Yes, every time you have a boss. Then Ben Grimm comes to him and it's an ending mo an ending combo like this, 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 this. <laughs> Yeah, that was nice. What else? Um, over the hedge that's how it's called, you know? Actually in the Russian translation they translated this to a forest gang or something like that. Forest Brotherhood. This game actually takes place after the original movie, yeah, or so, something like that. Where you can, this I think can be played together too, but I played it alone. It's hard to play on a computer, you know. It's a pretty fun game, I, I mean, this is uh, one of the first hack and slash games I played. You basically go around by a little animal with some weapon, like a golf nobody uh, this yeah you, you know those stuff that you used on the toilets like 
yeah, or a K key, you know, yeah, something like that, and you beat up any other animal, yeah. This is a nice uh, game mode where you ride on cards, yes. Yeah, so I recommend it to play to you. Oh, <clears throat> now goes something strange. Oh, just look at that. Uh, a time when I could buy a game for only 14 and a half green. Monkey's Adventure. I don't know what is this about. This is this game is very strange, I must say. The animation is strange, the plot is strange. It's just strange. Yeah. Alright, oh oh, here's something good. Oh, and this is was 13 and 75 like cents. Alright. Will you catch on the giant egg? Yes, this is that's a nice game. I was so playing it so much. It's hot, challenging. Really recommend it. Oh, it's hot. Oh, look! Look what we got here. Crazy frog racing. Woo! Yeah, this is nice. Nice racing. Uh, like the it has traps to set up. Has some. What uh, what bothers me is the. Um, the image inside, yes, um, yeah, it actually had. I, I'll cover up, but you probably understand, yeah, the, the problem, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Good thing it wasn't in the game. So, uh, next, Steel March. I, I don't know what, it, like, um, well, here you control a robot, like you see here, but. Why is there a guy with guns here? Yeah, it's actually a strange game. And I don't know why it exists. It's so low quality, like... Yeah, I don't even know what it is. Oh, here's something. Come, something. Here's this. Heroes of Bionicle. You know, that time, those times I was really interested in Bio Bionicle. I can't say I'm not interested right now. And you know what's funny? This game wasn't launching on my PC. Yes, I was installing it, reinstalling it. It had two CDs. It was teasing me, just teasing. Me. Like, look at this. Oh, like, look, look at this. Here they are standing. Yes, they're so cool. Oh, here they are. They're gonna fight. They're gonna drop it. And I can't have it. Like, we can hear. Oh yes, this is the first city. That's this enemies. Look at their scary faces. Or masks. Yes, you know, the Bionicles they don't have faces. They have masks that they can change. Yes. Oh, on here it's like the final showdown. You see, like wall on wall, like like they say. Here's the those. I don't remember how were named, but there was some kind of mercenaries that obeyed to the the shadow at one. And remember, I, I read the book, I read all the books, actually, that I could find. And the Toas, I think, the, the new Toas that were created by some star. Yes. And I never learned, I never played it. I kind of felt like, oh, you don't want to, I'm not gonna force you if you don't want to launch. If you don't want to play, I, even when I saw the gameplay, it kind of felt weird. A lot. Actually, my first encounter with Bionicle was a movie about the Mask of Light. Yes. So, oh, here's something good, yes. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Whoa! I, I, I haven't seen it uh, earlier. Yes, uh, this package is kinda broken. Oh, yeah, now, now I remember what happened, yes. Um, my sister was little and he, she, ch I think she chewed this. Yes, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. A nice game, yes? But, uh, look, uh, it actually has an ESRB rating. That's, that's interesting. I like how, uh, look at uh, Splinter's face here. He's like, eh, what am I even doing here? <laughs> yes, uh... This is all of these new games, you see? I had a lot of them. 
of Neo games. <clears throat> All right. Oh, and also Teenage Mutant 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 Male. Yeah, this is a nice game because uh, there's a lot of characters. You know, like you can play even as a Shredder, as the Food Soldier, as April, as Casey, as Splinter, as all the four turtles. I think that's all. Uh, that's all. There's a lot. You you can play together. You can fight uh, four men. Uh, there's much something like this. Yeah. Oh no. <coughs> this. This this is the cool stuff. Ultimate Spider-Man. Yeah, this this is actually a cool game, you know. Actually, because you can play as Spider-Man, you can play as Venom. It, it has nice gameplay. But you know what? This token you you have to you have to play as Venom, and you actually have to in the tutorial you actually have to eat a little boy who stands in a dark alley with a balloon. You you have to. <laughs> Ended him. Yeah, but of course, uh, playing as uh, Venom is an enjoy enjoyment. It's like playing Hulk. Uh, yeah, in this game, Venom doesn't use uh, the web. Like, phew, phew. no. When you press the button that uh, Spider-Man he swings the web. No, what you do, you he jumps like you know, like Alex Mercer, like. <laughs> yeah, something like that. And it actually has a lot of characters. There's a lot of costume. There's a lot of uh, different characters. There's like Bug, there's Goblin, but he's weird. You can race. Uh, there's races with Johnny Storm. Yeah. Actually, didn't play it a lot a long time ago. And I least think I should. But it's cool. I recommend it. I also remember playing Spider-Man 2. It's also a cool game, but I don't have. It is. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. This uh, now that's this. This is the game. This is the game. It was twenty-five grimness, and it was was each of it. I am ninja. I think it was actually originally called I am ninja. I don't understand why his this ninja is really sick. Like. You know the game Mini Ninjas, yes? Uh, oh, cute! The, the, there's an animal who are tuned into magic by... Uh, by magic who are tuned into new evil monsters and you have to fight them and then they turn, turn into animals and run off, yes? Uh, actually, I don't understand why is there in this game were, were so many chapters. I mean, I only use the main guy who has this spirit powers and the archer guy. Uh, everybody else was just not needed. But the game was still cool. cool. I mean, the mini ninjas. But that game, uh, this is. That was my first, like, I don't know, meeting with the world of video game violence and gore. Just try googling, finding the gameplay. It, <laughs> Uh, I just read. It says, "I ninja, fight of samurais." There's no samurais actually. No. That, but that you actually can uh, chop those little little enemies of yours in half. So of course they have green blood. You know, it's still a children game, but still, you can. Uh, there's a this cool. There's this cool move. When you jump, double jump, and you go in with your sword like, whoosh, and your enemy just says like, oh what the heck, and then pff, falls into two parts. Th this is awesome. And there's like sub -bo sub bosses, mid bosses, and just powerful enemies. They're like big, and you, uh, the way you fight them, you actually stand in, like you know in the madness. In the uh, you look at that boss, he looks at you, and then you jump up. And you fight flying, there's like background like flashing and you fly and fight like Yeah, something like that. This is cool. Oh This is that I, I don't know why I even bought this Stormers in fire. Yes, this is uh, I was actually interested in those two pictures but uh, when I bought 
it turned out that uh, this uh, th this and th this is actually a gameplay it's just stupid oh 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 now now this is this is that's that's just awesome you, you know you have to agree this is awesome star wars 2 lego star wars 2 full trilogy original trilogy this is awesome. I I played this so much with my sister. Like, uh, if you want to get your relationship your relationship better, or just you want to spend an, a good time with your brother or sister, especially if it's little brother or sister, play any Lego game. Those games are just created to bond families, members, members. Better play everything that is below Lego Batman 2 because for me that's when it were all went downhill. Not like it's something bad, but uh, I liked how f Lego figures uh, didn't talk, they were just like <laughs> it was funny. But Lego Batman 1, they, they do Lego Batman 2, they actually started talking. Okay, oh, here's something good. Worms five in one. Yes, this that's where the fun is, right? There is um oh, <laughs> and look what's inside. Oh, I just uh, like the the thing designs of those inside. Look at this. Look at look at this. <laughs> I don't think that this is an actual image for any worms ge game. I don't believe it. There's an original Worms, I think Worms 2, Worms Armageddon, which never ran Worms World Party, yes, World, pa World Party, I like that. Worms uh, Fort Sage, I like that. You, you can build there, so it's like a strategy. And Worms 3D, not really liked it. Alright, what? <clears throat> uh huh. My kitten Garfield. Uh, it's strange because actually, the his uh, realistic here, but it's actually a game like this, like cartoonish. The plot is it's actually a strange plot. You know, Odie makes a mess in all of the house, and you have to clean it up with a vacuum cleaner. You suck in random objects, and you have to place it in the right place. Again, with a vacuum cleaner. And what is the most uh, horrible thing about this game? It doesn't save. Yes. Well, at least I didn't know how to save. Or my older sister. Yes. We used... And there's a lot of rooms. You, you had to do it in one go. I never finished the game. Never. Yeah. Alright, and now... What the heck? Look, look, look what I found there, here. Looks like uh, there was some project for my sister and she put it between the disc cases. I don't like that white thing that grows on it. I think it's dangerous. My sister does some strange things. I'll go through it out. <clears throat> yes, oh, the Incredibles. Nice game too, you know, it actually follows the original cartoon and all stuff like that. Really recommend it to play. Yeah. You can beat up everyone. Oh, oh, oh. Now this is, that, here is something rather not nice. I don't know why I even bought this. Great Johnny. 
journey journey look look at those faces look at those faces they're just stupid this game is stupid there's and that's all that's that's how i can describe it maybe it would be interesting for like a five years old and still i'm not sure you know yes oh oh Oh, look at that. Uh, Garfield 2, which is actually realistic here. But it had kind of weird graphics. And it actually was lagging on my computer a lot. Which maybe has something to do with my computer being very old. Yeah, probably. So, this is all of my Neo Games collection. <coughs> But uh, this is not all. That that's near games. Yes. But there's more. There's some more. Yeah. Let's take a look at this. Uh, you know the Bugs Life cartoon? Yes. I really liked that cartoon when I was small. And uh, there was a game. Yes, actually, there was a game on the P for a PC. I, I really really liked it a lot too. Even though it was old and it was all like pixelated. But it was cool. But then uh, my father bought something that he thought is a the sequel for that game. Sadly, the cover is lost, but uh, you know it's just disturbing. I must say, uh, this the, the the main hero of this game is probably Bug Dom Two. L look at his face. Look at his. Face. Look at his face. Like here, 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 here he is. Yes, he he's probably high. I know that, but it's creepy. And that game is like strange. It plays strange. Like look at the screenshots. Yes, this The plot is that some bee stole his backpack. Yes, and he finds. You know what is disturbing? There was actually a level, a level on a dog, where you run in a dog's fur. You could say it is creative, but, and this is a big but, there were enemies, uh, I don't know how you, they are called, but you know, those kind of bugs that bite into your body, they uh, get stuck, they, they don't come off, and they drink your blood, and they while they do this, they get bigger and bigger. Yes, uh, so there are enemies, uh, those bugs, they literally, uh, to attack you, they bite the dog, drink blood, and then spray you with this blood. So that's disturbing, don't you agree? That's disturbing, as would double D say. Now, this, uh, this game is actually, as I must say, a... Uh, gold from the bottom or something like this it was only focusing and it was only nine greenness which is very cheap very cheap uh, you know maybe i don't know if it uh, it's a common thing in the other world but uh, there's sometimes uh, the products that uh, didn't don't sell very good in the Markets, you know in the shops stores, you know like there's these boxes or um, Baskets where they do just throw everything that sells not really nice and it's priced down, you know like uh, Discs and stuff like that or something some cheap technique and that's where I found uh, this beautiful thing uh, Darwinia Yes. Well, you know, it's just uh, worked up so nice. Uh, like you're actually think. Wait, focuses. Yes, you actually think that this game is like real. You know, you gotta play. It's just like there's this little pixelated humans that they live and you have to protect them but it's not Tamagotchi you you just have to see this Darwinia searched it and there's actually a funny story it 
it stopped stopped running for some reason and I reinstalled it a few uh, several times and it didn't fix so what did I do I just went there to that box and found another one so now I have two of them well that didn't help a lot and it turned out I just should have installed it into a normal folder and I was installing it like in disk D not creating the folder or something like that I, I don't know but helping another one didn't help so but I have two yeah I have two Darwinias because I like Darwinia it's a cool game <clears throat> now oh what's for and also in those boxes I found uh, this Freedom Fighters vs. The Third Reich I understand now that this was meant like a parody for all the superheroes but I actually took it pretty serious you know it, it was cool yes it's it's like I think that's what the, you call an action RPG Oh, it's oh, oh, it's actually it's made in Russia, yes. And I must say, it's done very well. It's actually a cool game. It made me a nice impression, you know. You should try it if it's in English. It, it's like a nice parody of all the superheroes. Freedom Fighters versus the Third Reich. What's cool? You can choose uh, which heroes you will use on this on this particular mission you are going to play, and there's like a uh, a video of the story how this hero hero got his superpowers. Yeah, so that was interesting. That profile for every superhero. Uh, it also there was this mode. When, where you can create your own but that's not the interesting the interesting where you could uh, choose any character yes uh, just any even the ones you made yourself who have just like uh, super duper like abilities that are just not allowed to have too much too too strong abilities and you could put them into like arena and let every other character like there's this whole bunch of not they're not repeating there is just a group of every child that, that there exists there and they're running on you and you must destroy them i think that's what you call an rpg like uh, right you have like strategy view like the from up from above and you choose which character would do what to do for what enemy like use some ability or just attack yes uh, <coughs> now here's a strange games uh, monster trucks extreme uh, no monster trucks extreme that that's what it says when it turns on i can say it's a really a bad game i was i had fun with it but what's strange is uh, the engine that this game is made on Oh, 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 it's made in Ukraine. It was made in Ukraine, yeah. That explains everything. I wonder if this... Yeah, oh no. But this was made in Ukraine, yeah, that, that explains everything. Of course, it's not... Uh, it's, hot. it's not Stalker. Yes, it's totally not Stalker. But uh, it's kind of stupid. So, but on the same... On the same engine, there was several games that I seen. One of them is Anubis 2. The same, uh, and what is uh, annoying? This engine you know, looks like it has only two uh, uh, melodies, and what it does, it just plays them around and around. Yes, like a record, baby. There's also one more game on this engine which I had once. I bought it it was called ninja cookie yes yeah, but the issue was I when I jumped on the platform I just fell down so I returned it to the shop 
Oh, uh, what what else? Here's a nice nice from One C. I think that uh, that's a Russian studio. Atari. Actually, it's written Atari. Look at this. So balance, yes, uh, you know, pretty cool game. Like interesting. What else? Oh, I don't know. Heavyweighted fights, yes. That was a strange experience too, but it was the first fighting experience that I had. Fighting game. But but it is nice actual, actual gameplay here, look at look at the screenshots. Something like this. Now, oh look at this. Backyard baseball 2004. 200. 100, yes, there, those are, no, but thousand, 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 yes, this is actually a pretty cool game, you know, you play, uh, you can make your own team out of uh, kids and you play baseball, pretty much that's all, but but it's my, my, it's done so well, there's commentators, there's all these kids playing, the, the fields are interesting, I'd recommend it, seriously. Look, look at the gameplay. I recommend it to you. It has nice animations. You can create your own character, yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, you little, you little piece of... But I'm gonna leave something for the rest, yes. Uh, now this here is a strange thing. As I said, uh, Nothing was licensed, and uh, often the a mod mod yeah, mod modification for a game was sold as a sequel. Yes, so here it is Star Wars Jedi Academy Escape Yavin 4. You know, I found this on a fridge of uh, my sister's husband, the the middle of them. Oh, the, how does it? Well, I have three sisters, so the ones that not the oldest and the, and not the smallest. And I actually believe that this is the actually actual sequel to the the Jedi Academy. And I like that this, this game is cool, you know, right? You you have to agree. Yeah. And again, it had uh, like nice decoration so you thought oh this is totally original look at this like no, no that's just games this here we have yeah you you i will never was i will i was never thinking that this could be not real but what's cool it has so strange swords like uh you know the everybody was shouting about oh look what the, what have they done uh, with the lightsaber in this new star wars movie what uh, was done with lightsabers in this game in in this modification uh, uh, the, what was done in the movie it is nothing compared to what was done in the game there was like a laser chainsaw there was like laser like the handle goes like this and there's a lot of rays there was a like uh, two-sided but there was like an axe like this all right uh, and now this is actually a treasure i must say i must say a dvds yes with games that was nice there was a lot of games on an eye on a one this this again mm, portal portal but it's not just portal it's portal prelude prelude how there is oh look there's actually esrb again it's like the prequel to the portal and it's as i understand it's a modification they sold a modification as an actual game. Yes. And I played it. And I believed. Uh, everything is a lie. 
Oh, now this is nice. This is nice. The Star Wars collection. And what do we have here? Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Oh, this is a nice game. I remember when, when my cousin was installing it all night and then it was such a cool game, yes. Star Wars Empire Galactic Conquest. That, I, don't, I don't remember this. Escape Yavin 4. Again! Escape Yavin 4 is here. Old Republic, Old Republic 2. Jedi Academy. Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. Uh, no, wait, it's not Jedi, it's Jedi. Yeah. Lady Jedi, Star Wars 2, Outcast. Yeah, it's just, so just it's Star Wars games. Star Wars games are cool, you know that. It's a fact. It just don't matter. Oh, <clears throat> this is a nice anthology. Of course, none of them is licensed, so we have uh, something like here. Yeah. You see, I just uh, I'll just read you the games that are here. There is Worms, right? The Worms Reloaded Two, Three, Blast. Blast is an actually very strange Worms Worms game, where you swim in a boat like da down here like and shoot. It's like some puzzle game. Armageddon, War Party, Under Sage, yes. All right, those were worms. Okay, so, so so this is the package. Here's worms. Okay, alien shooter. All right, worms shooting. Alien shooter. They should do. Alien shooter. Alien shooter. Fight for life. Experiment two. Uh, two is an actually cool part. It's uh, really strong. Has a really strong. RPG part to reloaded to conspirations and the alien shooter revisited. Ooh, um, that, that's a lot. Uh, <clears throat> uh, also, there is something, something called the cells, uh, the returning of hero, which is something like alien shooter, but it's not actually alien shooter. The monsters are aliens, but instead of a main guy, there's just some fat guy. And I don't and understand. And by typing was the returning of hero, it means that there was some other part. No, no, no. And there's some other. Shadow Grounds and Shadow Grounds Survivor. Oh, I don't remember what. Don't know what this is either. All right. Uh, so so uh, you you need to remember Worms and Alien Shooter. Uh, oh oh! I just <laughs> oh, look at this. It's not Alien Shooter. It's now now it's Al Aliens Shooter. Like like the movie, you get this? Now next is Army Man. I didn't know this game actually. This Army Man Free Toys in Space. That was some old, really old game. Army Man Air Tactics. Again, old game, but it's cool. It's flying uh, choppers, helicopters. Army Man RT RTC. Oh, it's. Actually, interesting that you uh, that's a bit uh, much newer game where you play as uh, Army Man, it's pretty much you playing as um, figures, as toys, yes. But here it's a strategy, yes. So you need to find uh, plastic to make soldiers. Oh, so just heroes, it's like an old again, it's a, a but that's already a FPS shooter, soldiers, heroes. And now there's an actual. The, the first game of this series I played, it's Army Man Surges War. And I never could think that uh, a plastic soldiers could be so... who could uh, call out so strong feelings. I mean, it's like there's an explosion, there's somebody betrays and everybody of this main hero here the main guy he is Sarge, yes. 
all everybody he knew they die everybody he holds his uh, girlfriend while she dies she she has no legs and she has uh, oh i think we can dance tonight and then he goes and he avenges them and this game is just cool it's it's plastic soldier soldiers but it's still so dark yes <clears throat> And uh, also, Morhuchen. Yeah, you know where, where you shoot these chickens? But there's actually a lot. There's Morhuchen 2, Morhuchen X, Morhuchen 2, Morhuchen Jones 2, and the Golden Curse, which is actually a very hard, uh, potently quest. Morhuchen Jones 3 and Taina Murahamona. Murahamon. I didn't play that. Why didn't I play that? And there's a lot of these uh, games about that chicken. So, now, what do we have here? It's Worms, Aliens Shooter, Stupid Games free that uh, nobody cares about, Army Man, and this chicken. Yes, th this is the the anthology I think I have another one from this yeah th from the same company star game uh, yes you see star game yes you see star game I think uh... now here's another one from the same now this is about superheroes Captain America and Spider-Man yes this is Cool, you know what, what does it have it's not that big it has uh, spider-man spider-man no it has just spider-man spider-man the movie which is a nice game I play that spider-man 3 I wonder where did you lose the second part the second part is actually pretty cool I had a CD but I sold it for just five brinas to my classmate that was stupid of me, right? The Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. Shattered Dimensions is a very cool game where you play two dimensions. You see, like, you have random, like, um, Ultim... No, wait, it's Future, the original Noir and Ultimate. Noir is pretty cool. You, you should play this. Everybody will find... It's a nice, like, fight and beat em up. So play this for Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. And, as you could see, it has Captain America. You thought it had Captain America? No, it didn't have Captain America. All right, it did have Captain America, but that Captain America was just an V game, V game with an emulator Dolphy. You understand this? They, they, they sold a ROM of a game with emulator as an actual game for PC and it lagged a lot and you can't play a V game without a V controller. So that was disappoint. Well, that was a disappointment. I regret nothing. Of course there were stupid game like volleyball but actually but most of the part it was good I like Spongebob yeah. and uh, this uh, this there is an all, uh, a lot of console games like Mario Mario World Mario Dandy Dandy that's what in uh, people on the post-soviet area played instead of NES Sorry. Uh, uh, what is it here? There's Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. Woo! Scary. Super Mario Bros. 2, which doesn't make any sense, which is strange, right? I mean, the second part is strange. Free, which is nice, and World, which is just cool. The Bride Braid. You know about the time. It wouldn't run on my computer. Plants vs. Zombies, 
versus zombies, which I didn't play because it has zombies. And right now I play games much more boss. But it was back then. And also there was Rocket Knight, which I don't get what is it. I, it first and didn't want to run, then it uh, run, and it was just weird. What the heck? What is it? A kangaroo with a jetpack? I don't understand. What else? Uh, Sonic and Sega All Star Racing, which didn't even install, probably because it's just some stupid piracy. Uh, Trine 1.08. Trine, yes. Bionic Commando Rearmed. A 2D version, yeah. Dandy Games, yeah, then we, all, we know that. Half Life 2D. I don't think th th that there's an actual game like this. And Sega Mega Drive uh, games, which I played a lot. Now there is an actually fine, funny uh, story to how I got this. Uh, my fr a friend of mine. Well, yeah, I had a friend back in like had because I didn't see him much. He, yeah. All right. So he had a coin, an old coin, and uh, we thought uh, about uh, selling it. Like it's an old coin, you know you. Uh, old coin you, you know you can get uh, money for an old stuff so we took this coin we cleaned it well he mostly and we went to the what we call bazaar and there was a guy he looked at the coin and he said he, that he would give us just 40 grivnas for it my dad actually st said that we were stupid and he fooled us he fooled us that uh, my father should have should have took this coin and go sell it because he would uh, make mo more money and then we just went to the shop and he my friend bought this game this uh, this those games for me said like and I said, told oh that will be for my birthday and like oh happy birthday and something like that and then we went and played a lot because this game had the WrestleMania, it had Battle Tots, it had Contra, it had Pong, and had a lot. Uh, so what else? Uh, maybe there are probably some lost games in here. Let's check this out. What do we, and what do we have here? <laughs> A Mickey Mouse school. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Come on. Now what else? Uh -huh. SpongeBob uh, light camera. Yes, uh, that's a nice point to point and click quest. I must say. Uh, not the game. Not the game. Not the game either. Another game too. No. Oh, here's a game. Uh, you know there was one guy. Well, actually, I heard that he went to jail for this. Which uh, that, uh, if you would like, he wouldn't sell you the game, but he would record the game on another CD for you. And uh, wouldn't you know? <laughs> Robots. And that guy was selling games next to a hair salon. Yeah. I actually the guy that worked that there later said he went to jail for this because of this. Well, yeah, that's Robots. Nice game. I recommend it. All right. All right. All right. Mm. Not a game. Not a game. Uh, not a game. Other. <laughs> now this is the space and the uh, there's like documentary about space ah! about space and how. Uh, a space, yeah, and there's a lot, a lot. There was a lot about black holes, 
and me and uh, my sister and uh, we both when we were small and we actually were scared about black hole uh, getting to earth after this yeah here's the game yes here's actually a game uh, wheels of freedom do that's some copy that my dad bought from his friend something like this oh oh this is this is nice here's some copy of uh, Mario I don't know what part of Mario is it I think it's just some modded version but it was a nice entertainment I must say for me at least not a game um, Oh! Not, it's not a game, but it's really cool. It's uh, the legend of piano player or something like that, where a guy he grew, uh, was all his life he was on a, on a ship. Ship? Yes, ship. Ship. Ah. And he was playing piano, really good. I used a clip from there in one of my YTPs. Now, here's the game. Here's a game. Uh, here's one of the first games I played. It was actually given by my cousin to my older sister for her birthday. And I liked it a lot. Sonic Adventures Deluxe, I think. Yes. This, uh, of course, this CD is already really old and it's not working, but it is just such a memory for me. Uh, I remember. Yeah, it's a cool game, I recommend it too. Now, here are the Power Rangers Ninja Storm. Yes. Um, you might be wondering why is this game without uh, a case? It's because I, because of this game, I was uh, kind of annoying my dad a lot. So he just grabbed the case and like, <laughs> and I was really happy that I didn't pull out the disc itself out of PC. Don't uh, annoy your parents. Not a game, not a game, not a game, not a game, no, oh, and here's a game, yes, this is a game, again, just copied, it's uh, Chicken Little, and it was really glitchy, and uh, I think at the third level, the sound started sounding like, <laughs> like, the white noise or something like this and it wouldn't go further than some level so yeah let's see what else not the game <laughs> not the game um, uh, I was uh, a vast antivirus. Um, oh, here's the game. Here's an actually a game. Well, I did. I did not remember that this thing. This thing was on a two CDs. Yes, it's just a point and point and click quest about made by the plot of a one Russian cartoon about. Bogatiri, you know, Alosha Popovich and Tugarin the snake. Not solid snake, but Tugarin. A nice point and, point and click. But that's all with those. But there's something more that I left, you know? It's laying there, staring in, into my eyes. And I'm staring into his eyes. If you watch, if you stare too much into the abyss, the abyss start staring into you or how is it I don't know what sh what I am quoting right now but it sounds cool don't you agree so 
Here it is. Uh, Aunt Gropo's the war for for mind. War for mind. Yes. This is uh, probably made in Ukraine or in Russia because I don't think there it was done. Yes. Now uh, the trick is uh, I wanted to buy buy this a lot a long time ago. I saw this and I thought, oh, this is cool. I will buy it, but I didn't buy it. And then when I saw it after many years, uh, I bought. I like I was like, oh, finally this game, and I bought it. Like, look at this picture. It, it's just awesome. Don't you agree? Don't you agree? It's awesome, and it it's so worked up. I mean, look, it has. Um, no. Oh. Look at that. What, what, what the heck is this? I mean, it just uh, the advertisement is so good uh, uh, on this disc. The, there's not only a game, but there's also a comic, and this comic is voiced. There, there's voices to voicing this comic. And it's drawing pretty cool, and voicing is nice. But the plot is just strange. Like, there's some aliens that created those human-like troops, and one of them goes after control and something like this. But the game itself is just... It's just so bad, it deserves a review that I will review it. I think I will try to do so because uh, it's no telling how strange and bad this game is I'll just have to show you 